hello my purposeful family are you doing hope you are doing fine so god wants me to share this awesome message with you hmm. first of all do you know what makes god happy believing in him yes like god has promised he will bring his spouse for you don't stop believing him keep believing in him because he's going to do it so what makes god happy is believing in him without faith you cannot please god so if you want to please god keep believing in him he told you he will do it he will do it <laughs> speak positive things keep being hopeful if he has not done it yet it's because he's working on it or he has worked on it and is waiting to put things in place and bring his spouse for you I know it feels like it's taking a long time don't worry your request is on God's list he's working on that too in the meantime look away look away from it and stay away from anything that makes you impatient about it pray about it and leave it to God don't worry about it yes keep yourself busy focusing on other things that God wants you to focus on and let God handle that area don't lose your joy because of it don't lose sleep because of it it's like it's not going to solve the issue the only person that can solve this issue is God if you try to solve it hmm, you are wasting your time if you try to ignore God and find someone you are delaying your miracle just leave it to God same for me I am leaving it to God and focusing on what God wants me to focus on in due time God will bring his spouse for me yes I have tried to get a man on my own hmm, it did not work out I stopped doing God's stuff I started doing what God did not tell me to do I ended up miserable I learned my lesson you know I might as well wait on God I'm not going to lose sleep over this also I made a decision with Holy Spirit's help I will enjoy the wait I will keep spending time with God keep preaching and sharing my testimonies with God enter my heart God God when are you going to bring your spouse for me God says don't worry I'm working on it hmm keep doing what I say you should be doing I'm like okay because I know God's got my back like this is not the first time God is telling me I'm working on it if he says he's working on it he is working on it you know I used to ask God when will you take me out of my evil parents house God says soon I asked when I was 18 God took me out at 30 hmm what happened in the middle I was just doing what God says like preaching at school online and not online because I did not want my parents to know unless they would stop me so I was writing God's book in secret God put me in college for bachelor's masters God allowed my sisters to get married before me what was I doing holding on to God to help me to get through everything then when I was 30, God said it was time to leave my parents' house. I was shocked hmm. because I actually did not want to leave anymore. I was afraid of the unfamiliar. But when I thought of the fact that living is actually for God's kingdom, to publish his book freely, preach freely, I was like, yep, I'm going to leave. Also, hmm, I had forgotten that God promised me he would take me out because it took so long that I got used to the fact that whether God takes me out or not I will enjoy my life with him I will create an anonymous account on social media and preach there you know I didn't think how God would take me out but he did same with marriage hmm. as you are focusing on God removing your mind on the thought of marriage when you least expect it god will bring a spouse for you and god will tell you it's time to date hmm. 
and you may be like god i'm busy god will be like oh you don't want it anymore like hmm oh i've waited so long yes jesus i want it <laughs> teach me how to date him teach me how to treat him right before you know it you are married with kids i'm praying to god to help you get through these responsibilities hmm. so don't worry it will happen has god ever lied to you no so let us manage to be patient ask holy spirit for help and he will help us like i take one day at a time i smile every second every minute every hour and not let the thought of not being married yet affect me because god is handling it don't compare yourself to your sisters who are already married that's their time your time is coming mm -hmm. also don't envy those that are married especially unbelievers hmm. majority of them will end up divorcing their spouses and by then you're already married yes if their spouses are not from god it won't go well it won't end well so remember god says our tomorrow will be greater than our today god says our best is yet to come sometimes hmm, we are living in god's blessings but god is saying more blessings are coming you know i get really excited about the future because god keeps telling me i have not seen anything yet hmm. you will lend to nations you will have houses you do not build i mean that's enough to get excited yes be excited about tomorrow do not worry about tomorrow because god is handling it and everything will be fine i don't know tomorrow but i know tomorrow will be good because god says so in the meantime god wants us to be in the present in the moment be present in the moment enjoy today with him enjoy the moment with him and not think about tomorrow he's working on it also same for your past ignore your past god has forgiven you whatever mistakes you've made god has forgiven you accept his forgiveness stop being ashamed guilty about yesterday or what you did a minute ago it's all in the past god has handled it yes enjoy right now enjoy this minute have hope all will be fine you will have good health when you think good when you are positive don't be negative everything will be fine god is in control the man you are praying for hmm, god will do it the woman you are praying for god will do it don't worry about it focus on what god is telling you to do now well i don't know what he's telling me to do start by asking him step out in faith god will meet you the only way to know what god is telling you to do is to make mistakes yes like when you try this and they don't work out god is saying that's not it you know then you try another thing let god lead you like don't be afraid be confident because god is with you i like, think about it whether spouse or no spouse yet god will never leave you god is with you till the end so enjoy the presence of god learn about yourself with god's help in the process god can be preparing you for the man or woman he has for you for me i have learned so much about myself and i'm still learning i know what i like i know what i eat because god is working with me and revealing things to me seriously i'm glad i'm not yet married because i've learned so much about myself that when god brings his spouse for me i will not be my fake self but my real self we we'll continue the next video